We are Emily Lee-Brenner and... Johanna Smoljana. And we've been in collaboration for over 15 years, creating sculptural, visual, electronic, augmented reality and performance work. But the work is called Bayangan, which means shadow. So that's a literal translation of uh, Bayangan from... It's an Indonesian word. And so the aspect of Bayangan is um, reflected in the um, the black color we used um, in the work. And the word Bayangan often uh, or sometimes is used uh, for also for imagination or mental image. The piece itself is three wind driven pieces. There's a gentle movement in light breezes and it turns in stronger winds. So each piece has three fins um, and those fins catch the wind and cause the base to turn. The shape of the work is based on the tree of life in the traditional Wayang Kulik stories or shadow puppets. So we've both been interested in the form and the kinetic aspect um, of the work for some time. The wind-driven aspect is a continuation of pre our previous work, but the exploration and application of shadow puppets is a new development. And this comes from our pers personal research and um, also the connections and the animation side of our practice. Also, I guess, um, coming from uh, my own cultural heritage. Um, the form and the um, meaning of the work um, seems appropriate for for the time um, where you know through two lockdowns and a pandemic um, a lot of people are kind of um, reflecting on you know their lives and what they've been through and also um, we want to um, um, relate that to the setting that it's in um, in the beautiful grounds of Eden Gardens, uh, set amongst um, other trees and plants. So there's actually a cycle to be seen through the three pieces. Um, if you look at them with the smaller work, um, representing new growth, um, they're different sizes. So the small one represents new growth. Then we move on to maturity and then finally to decline and reseeding. So then the cycle begins again with new growth. So this is the cyclic um, representation um, of the tree of life, both in the separate pieces and in through the, um, the whole notion of the cycle, which is the meaning of the tree of life. So Bayangan was inspired by Wayang Kulik, which is the Indonesian shadow puppets, uh, and specifically by the Tree of Life figure. And often in um, Indonesian uh, Wayang Kulik, this is called Gunungan or Kayon. Uh, Gunungan means um, mountain and Kayon means um, um, like a forest. So the Tree of Life is often used as the beginning and um, the end of a story in a performance of Wayang Kulit. And it symbolizes the cycle of life of everything in the universe. And it also represents a universal symbol, um, which is, um, you know, present in many ancient cultures. Although these stories in Wayang often um, originated from Hindu culture, in Indonesia they were embraced and adapted by local culture. They often, however, can reference more contemporaneous struggles and protests, as with many forms of storytelling, story um, especially those involving puppetry. Um, as Johanna said, the concept of the tree of life is almost universal in many ancient cultures. And in that way, um, we're reinterpreting the symbol in a modern context and using contemporary materials. Um, the point of um, the contemporary materials also there is um, we're using um, 
core flute um, and it allows uh, the particular material we're using allows the light to come through it so it comes through not only um, the black on the material but also through where there isn't any black um, and creating a very nice interplay of light what we hope people will take away from visiting the work is a sense of delight and playfulness that's created by the play of light hitting and coming through the material of the work um, and the gentle movement of the work in the wind. We hope that people will um, take away a sense of reflection and renewal from the imagery on the work, which talks about the um, regrowth and the cycle of life.